watching Brutally Delicious! Hey, welcome to Brutally Delicious. I'm Bruce Moore. Today we've got another excellent show for you. This time we're going to go all the way over to Sweden, to the forest, and speak with the guys from Norskold. And if you stay tuned, we're going to see what they have cooked up for us today. What's up, guys? This is Brutally Delicious. My name is Henrik and this is Rex and they were gu the guitarists of the Swedish metal act Norrköld and uh, we're currently in uh, Gothenburg uh, on the Swedish west coast and we're supposed to make some, some decent uh, power breakfast uh, with some pancakes and uh, dessert to that. Um, so we're basically gonna do some pancakes and some dessert uh, simultaneously, simultaneously, and uh, Rex is going to do the dessert, and I'm uh, focusing on the on the pancakes. So, <clears throat> basically, shall we begin? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, basically, it's it's not uh, too uh, too hard making pancakes if you not make it hard. That's exactly what I'm intending to do. <laughs> Uh, some power of flour, <laughs> uh, essential, really. They do that in the Ah, good, what? You want them in like small pieces or in just huge chunks? chunks. Okay. Uh, um, I don't know, Rex, how do you feel doing this? Uh, uh, with your upper body. Uh, I feel show. great. I feel amazing, actually. I feel really good about it. How do you feel? Well, it's a bit awkward, actually, but uh, I think I'll manage. Um, Since we're men. Yeah. This has to happen. <laughs> For the record, only XL eggs will do. So we aimed for uh, ostrich eggs. Uh, <laughs> But uh, they were out of the, the store this evening, so regular Excel eggs will have to do about uh, four or five of them. Eggs for later, because we're doing it like. Uh, uh, the pancakes separate from uh, the egg and bacon, uh, so it's it's gonna be magnificent in the end. So <laughs> some uh, power milk. Uh, of course, you can show you how it's done. So. We don't normally put it up this beautiful, but just for you guys today, I'm going to show you some special love. Uh, anyway, the pancake is uh, in the oven, uh, and just uh, 
just make sure it stays in there for about uh, 15 minutes or so. Now we're going to put the rest of the fruits on top of the other fruit <laughs> and they're going to make babies probably not, okay. Uh, so, in my uh, opinion, the, the pancake is uh, pretty much done. It smells terrific, I must say. It's, it's not too much space, that's clearly overrated. So, this is shit. Pure power pancake. Cook as hell. And uh, the eggs are uh, almost done. Uh, destroyed all the chocolates of this piece of fruit uh, collection. Uh, we just put it in the oven. Um, then I think we're done. Actually, for, for today. So now the dessert is almost done. I'm just gonna put a little bit of honey on top of it. So normally, I don't know how people do this, but I have I have my honey in the fridge pretty much all the time. And uh, when you do that, it's super hard, kind of like glue. Check this out. Yeah. So it's impossible to do anything with this. That's why I put it in this cup. I'm going to put it in the microwave for maybe 30 seconds the most. You don't want to overheat it. Viking neighborhood, as you can see, we have birds, we have cars, we do have windows, and uh, yeah, no, people seem to think that we, we are still Vikings and we have polar bears walking around the streets, uh, which is not true, and as you can see, if you look over there, we just like any other country. We have trees, birds, birds. like I said. What? Birds. Birds. <laughs> Already said birds like three times. Yeah, we have all the things that you guys do. Okay, as you, <laughs> as you can see, this is why you should not overcook honey. Because <laughs> then this shit happens. So, so our, our dish is done, uh, the power breakfast of doom, <laughs> and uh, we have the pancakes, the oven pancake, uh, based on uh, you know, normal ingredients and uh, extra large eggs, of course. Um, we have the specially fried bacon and some, uh, some scrambled eggs, and this, this is my Presentation. Yeah. And this is uh, the Fruity Loops. <laughs> yeah, and it's uh, covered with uh, white chocolate and uh, some honey. 
And uh, to this we drink nothing less than uh, extra protein. 50% extra protein milk. I think they could actually be able to read that. 50% extra protein milk. Milk. Yeah. And that's about it. I think. Yeah. Over and out so, from, uh, from Sweden. Yeah, so this is this is Norkel, this is me Rex, this is Henrik, and this is brutally delicious. Enjoy. For those not familiar with the band Norskull, can you tell us a little bit about yourselves? I, uh, Norskull was started in, in, in the fall of 2012. Um, since I quit uh, the folk metal band called Irbos, also situated in Gothenburg, Sweden. And uh, I simply decided to start my own project and uh, at first, the idea was to, to have a studio uh, project, making uh, an album. Um, so that was the, the primary goal of the Norfolk. Uh, so I uh, decided to look for a session member uh, to fill in on, uh, on, uh, on uh, rhythm guitar, on drums and uh, vocals and bass. Uh, so I did that and uh, I found uh, four guys in Gothenburg who helped out in the studio and uh, in, in the winter of 2012 we recorded the first album Blessings of the Winter uh, which was released in, uh, in April uh, this year uh, and uh, the album is uh, basically an EP uh, consisting of six uh, songs um, uh, whereas two two are instrumentals and the rest are you know normal metal black metal kind of songs uh, with uh, you know uh, folklore uh, themes in the lyrics <laughs> and the music is uh, well I I tend to call it uh, multi metal because uh, the style is uh, like a mix of uh, of the black metal, uh, folk metal, and uh, and uh, death metal, and also have uh, you know ingredients of the classical guitar work. So it's uh, quite a mix. Uh, Your brand new disc, Blessings of Winter, has recently been released. Now that it's complete, how do you feel about it? Now you're satisfied with the outcome. Um, well, the feedback has been great uh, from. Uh, primary, you know, family or friends, uh, but also from uh, fellow music mu musicians here in Gothenburg. Uh, most people find the record uh, being quite unique in the sense of mixing different styles of metal, and uh, w which hasn't been done in this way according to most people. So I think uh, the result is quite uh, satisfying. And I also got some, some good feedback from uh, um, one, of, one of the members of Dark Tranquility, a uh, quite big uh, metal band here in Gothenburg. Uh, and he, he did uh, the, the cover artwork uh, for the album. Uh, and he said that uh, uh, the album Blessings of Winter was quite uh, you know, uh, exciting and had you know smart guitar uh, harmonies and stuff and, and, and that really warms since uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of that band since uh, way back uh, but I am uh, personally I'm very satisfied with uh, the results of the record and I think Rex uh, agrees What message if any do you want your fans to take away from this album after listening to it? So, uh, the message I want to send out to those people who listen to Norfolk is that uh, there's still lots of original metal music being made out there and uh, hopefully you will have the patience to wait for another album because there's a lot more where that came from.
So far, Blessings of Winter has been released digitally on iTunes and Spotify and sites like that. Do you have any plans to release it as a uh, physical disc? If so, when can we expect to see it? Um, Blessings of Winter has been released uh, primarily on, uh, in a digital format, uh, but the record is currently being pressed, uh, produced uh, to be released in a physical, real uh, CD format as well. And uh, according to the plans, uh, this release will be in mid-June, maybe. So, yeah, that's about it. What's the story behind the name of the band Norskold? Um, the history of the name Norskold is that uh, that's a name I used in my former band Irbos. And uh, it's really a mix of my origin, that is Norland, uh, nor northern part of Sweden, and my surname, which is Skjöld. So together it becomes Norskjöld. So it's, it's not uh, crazier than that. Stranded on a desert island, you could take three CDs for all of eternity, what would they be? If I could only choose three albums to bring to a deserted island, uh, that would be... <laughs> that would be uh, Slipknot's Iowa. Slipknot's great band. Uh, it would be some kind of collection box on my own music. Is that alright? Anyway, that's one of them. And uh, my third and last one would be um, another collection box, if that's alright, uh, with classical music to chill to. What do you choose? Yeah, uh, my pick would be, uh, first of all, uh, Opeth's uh, Morning Rise. Uh, and I'd pick uh, Metallica's uh, Ride the Lightning album. And also die streets uh, on every street. Every street. Yeah. <laughs> when you're not touring, recording, or writing, what is it you like to do? So when we're not doing music, or when I'm not doing music, not recording, not performing anywhere, uh, I like to. Um, no, do normal things like every, anybody else. Just hang out with people, partying all the time, working out, obviously. And um, yeah, like the normal things, I guess. Um, I rather not sometimes when I'm when I'm done recording for a day or or for a week. I don't usually like to pick up the guitar anymore. You alright, man? <laughs> yeah. Sort of. <laughs> I don't like to pick up the guitar after a week of recording or touring for a long time. Because, you know, you can, even though it's the most, and my guitar is what I do the most, that sounded really bad. <laughs> Play guitar is what I do the most, uh, and I love it. But still, it can get a little bit too much. If you do it too much. Yeah. That was a really terrible answer. Do you have any culinary training at all? When I'm making food, it's all improvised. Always. Um, I don't really like to cook when it's only myself eating. I love to cook if if somebody else is eating with me. Uh, especially if you got some nice company, some chicks over. That's really nice. But even then, it's improvised. Always. I don't know about you. Well, I'm, uh, I've learned all I know from my mother. So I basically have like 10 recipes going around and around and around. And it's basically just meat and potatoes. Yeah, that sounds beautiful. Play that chord again. Future Breed Machine, let me show you. <laughs> What's next for North Cold? We're about to release a single uh, anytime soon, and uh, 
we're, we're also going to release, uh, you know, the real uh, CD, uh, Best in Winter, within a couple of weeks. And uh, this fall we're supposed to... Yeah, it'd be a lot of, of uh, recording. We're trying to get into the studio, which is pretty much right here, where we're at right now. Uh, we're going to get into the studio, we have a bunch of new material, uh, and it's going to be really cool. Um, and we're going to try and get the band together to, um, to play some live. But mainly, I guess, we're going to record a bunch of new songs, right? Yeah. The aim is to make another EP uh, before this year is over. Might even make a new CD, like a new album, not only EP. Yeah. yeah, because there is uh, some material for for a uh, for whole album as well. So, um, so that's pretty much it, right? Yeah. So thanks for watching. Uh, this is brutally delicious. And this is uh, not a represent. Peace. <laughs> so, Henrik. Yeah. Today we've been cooking some food, answering a few questions. You have anything, anything else to add uh, to um, to the people watching? I just hope you're. You got uh, ins inspired to make some uh, some power pancakes, some double eggs, <laughs> and uh, to take off your shirt. Always take off your shirt yeah. when you're making power pancakes, especially when you fry the bacon. Yeah, that's about it. Hope you like the music. So, thank you guys for watching. This is brutally delicious. This is Norskjöld. My name is Rex, and this is Henrik. Yeah. Take care.